Mom, come here. This phrase is significant because one in three homes in America is fatherless. One in three homes in America only have their mother to talk to when they need something or when they have a problem. One in three homes in America have children who suffer with the effects of growing up without a father. I live my, I've lived my entire life without a father. With that, with that, I miss everything a father should teach you, such as tying a tie, throwing a curveball, or picking up girls. I can go on with a list of these effects forever, but today I'm going to talk about three big ones. Today I'm going to tell you about misbehavior, blame, and the constant search for a father figure. The first point I want to talk about is misbehavior. Children in fatherless homes oftentimes long for attention, and at a young age, most of the time, the, only, the easiest way to get that attention is to get in trouble. In the younger stages, it just starts out as a class clown, always doing stuff to get fellow students to laugh, the things that always sets teachers off. I was a class clown when I was in high school, or middle school, I mean, possibly one of the best in my class, but it still didn't give me the, the attention that I longed for. Into the early teenage years, children will start doing much worse things, such as fighting or doing drugs, to get that attention. It isn't until they find something that they're good at to get them positive attention that the things they do to get negative attention stop. For some, it's music. For some, it's sports. For some, it's volunteering at a fire company. And a long list of others. For some children, though, they never find that good attention. According to Donald Miller's book, Father Fiction, 95% of males in prison grew up in a fatherless home. And the ratio of teen pregnancy is 86% to 14% in favor of the fatherless home. The second effect I want to talk about is blame. In Father Fiction, Donald Miller states it perfectly when he says he cried every night because he thought it was his fault that his father left. He thought he was too ugly of a child or that his father just outright hated him. This is what a father leaves, leaving does to a child. Not every child blames themselves, because some can actually see what made the, the father leave. But for the most part, children st struggle with the thought and the guilt they have for their father's absence. The final thing I want to talk about is the constant search for a father figure. The father figure usually starts out as a neighbor, someone who builds model cars or uh, flies remote control airplanes, and moves on to either a pastor or a youth pastor most of the time always going from father figure to father figure. The trouble with this is that father figures are never around forever. Children always seem to drift apart from them. It's hard for a child to find a man to love them like their father should, and jumping around to different father figures doesn't help the child because they drift apart from more people that way and it only hurts them worse. Today I talked about three effects of growing up in a fatherless home. Misbehavior, blame, and the constant search for a father figure. There are many more effects that happen, and my goal today is to share the consequences of growing up without a father, and to reduce the number of fatherless homes in America.